Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we continue to discuss PDF document structures. The example we are using in this video is based on the PDF page tree structure to scan and counting total pages of a PDF files. The reference document is we are using is a PDF reference. It's an official PDF file specification from Adobe Systems. The PDF one of PDF file is a collection of objects. One of the important object is the page trees. So the pages of document accessed through a structure is called uh, is known as the page trees, which defines their ordering within the document. So the tree structure allow PDF viewer application to quick open document contain thousands of pages using only limited memory. So the page structure allow we using limited memory to view from the thousand pages of document. So the tree contain nodes of two types. Intermediate nodes is called a page tree node and the leaf node is called a page object. And the page object or leaf nodes is the single page object. Here's an example from preview video we made a dump of the page, uh, PDF file to verify the PDF object. So the PDF object starting with object number, which is uh, and uh, like here is the five, and the second is the generation number is a zero, and the last, third one is called OBJ. That's the start of each object, and each object is end with end object. So for the page object or the leaf object, it, there's a specify, it's called a slash type dot slash pages. So if we are going to scan and the counting total number of pages, is we are going to count in how many page objects, which if we are counting how many lines, is a slash type slash page. So here we so here we create a simple program called a PDF counting page dot cpp. So what we do, we define the buffer size is one zero twenty four, and this program will take one argument or parameter, which is a code in PDF file. So the usage will be program PDF counting page and take one parameter called the PDF files. So what we so so we first verify if argument is not equal to and we exit with error. And after we have the argument which is the PDF file, we open this PDF as an input file and the binary file. If not able to open, we exit with error. And we create a two memory and the one called the in buffer, which is used for read byte from the file to memory. And then we create a working buffer, which is the parcel of lines, always split by lines. And then we into the working buffer after we read into the in buffer and then we starting process. So, so if we able to open the file, we start the loop till the end of file. Each loop we read the buff we read from file into the in buffer and then we make a loop by to working till t 
zero x zero a character found. So so we just uh, move this in buffer i to the variable called my chair. We convert this my chair to the integer. So if this is not zero x zero a, it means not the end of line. And we just move this character to the working buffer. If it's a print table, we move it as a character itself. If it's not printable, which is less than the 32, bigger than the 127, then we move the dot to the working buffer. And after we find the character is 0x, 0a, is end of the line. We starting process working buffer. In this uh, program, we just uh, the process is uh, counting if the it is uh, the page object or not, which is uh, line is the slash type slash page or not. If so, we making the memory copy of uh, last eleven byte into temple buffer. We may first we. Set reset the temporary buffer and then we move the we make a memory copy of last 11 byte to the memory buffer. Why is it 11? Because this is slash type slash page is 11 bytes. So, and we compare if the if this temporary buffer is equal to slash type slash page. If yes, we are page counting plus one. So we count one more page till the file finished it was the end of file then we close file we print out the total page count so let's uh, just uh, save this make clean and uh, we just uh, recompile this So in this uh, example, I have two PDF files. So we just uh, counting one of them called gcc.pdf, we just run. So here we got the result. Is we counting total page is 962 total pages. To verify this, we open this gcc.pdf file. We can see here we have 962 total pages. So we're counting is okay. So this is the one way we are going to counting PDF files. And uh, there's uh, another way to counting. Let's look at the document. So PDF, the page tree structure of PDF file from the, which called the node is uh, we call a root node. So we for root node, there's a submit another tree, another tree, another tree, and end of pages, pages, and the pages. So each page tree nodes can have another page tree nodes, or can have a pages under this. So yeah, this page tree node can have a page, page. So, so the another way we are going to counting the PDF pages. We can find the page tree root. This is called a root page tree node. So here, let's go to our curve. If we go to so, if I say the object of a page tree nodes is like object number, generation number, dot object, but the type is the page is s so if a type with a page is the page node and if type with s is page tree node which is the in uh, middle of the net so each page tree node based on the document so each page node has uh, four components, right? So one is the key type, and the type is the pages. And the second one is the parent. The parent 
is here the specification of parents required except in root node. So if uh, the page tree node has parents component, it's in the intermediate. If there's no parent, it's the root node. So there's only one page tree node is uh, without parent, which is the root node. So for the case is uh, how many intermediate children of this node or how many pages of this node. And the counting is uh, number of nodes or pages under this uh, page tree node. But uh, for the root page tree node, this counter is the total pages to pages. So let's say our pro. So here is the intermediate page tree node. So here type is the pages and the count is 98, but it has the parents is the, the for the root page tree node, here is a one one seven twenty-two. He has a node type is the page count is a nine sixty-two and the case is uh, count some of kids, but and then it after. So you look at this page tree node. There's no parents. So this is the root page tree node. So the count of a root page tree node is the total page 962. So this is another way we looking for the root page tree node and getting the counting of this page tree node is the total pages. Hello, this is uh, Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback. Thank you.